Tally Ho Rambunctious Rodents. Welcome back to today's episode of JV Podcast. I'm joined with Devin and Gabe. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Yeah. We got a we got a crazy episode planned today here. We do. We're gonna, yep. Yeah. You know what we're gonna talk about? No, we don't know what we're gonna talk about. That's what makes it crazy that we don't know what we're gonna talk about. Off the about. cuff. We can go anywhere. We can go anywhere. Anything. Who knows? You guys know what the episode's about. You've seen the title, but we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know more y'all know more than we do. Yeah, That's you know sure. more than we do. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh um well, there has been one thing that's happened lately. Devin might, I don't, I haven't caught up on the lore, but Devin might have won his first debate ever in the comment section. Oh, he was, a- last I checked, he was winning against Gabe's feet. Um, yeah. I wouldn't really call it like winning a debate. I mean, <laughs> the conversation. You've never beaten him before. And this you always concede. Stuff. You do yeah. always well, concede. Well, I don't always concede. Um, yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you, you always say like, oh, I see your point, And then you move on. That's, that's conceding. That's, I mean, I guess um, when, usually when I interact with um, Gabe's feet, it's usually, uh, I usually see his points, and I usually be like, "Yeah, I see this, but there's also this, this, and this." I, I usually say it as a, like a, like another train of thought. I don't look for a couple hours, and I just like a fucking thread. Wait, wait, wait hang on. I what? To, oh no, no, you didn't reply to his recent. Oh, there's a recent one. Yeah, I haven't yeah. read it. Yeah, I usually do it not to be argumentative because I'm not like, "Yeah, you're wrong. All your points are wrong." I usually say I like, "Oh yeah, this is probably right, but there's also other things to think about." Like I was saying, you can't just say magic beats Superman. I mean, the that's kid not what he was saying. Well, he said, um, I think his point was based on his original point by saying, How are you going to say Gojo beats Dr. Uh, beats Superman, but he does it? I and know, saying, and I, and it's the same win con effectively, is what he's saying. So I know, and we, and, we, different. and we were talking about that, and then he went on to say that. So then it started, and then started arguing other points. Yeah, so I, I go, I go, I do it by point by point, you know, thing. So it seems like I'm arguing, but I don't really recon the argument. <laughs> I didn't say argument. Is this true? Our debate, yeah. Is this true? Superman's main enemies are at very best universe level? I feel like they're higher. I, they can be higher? The I mean, main nemesis are like Lex well, his main Luthor, nemesis, Metallo, his main nemesis, Doomsday. Yeah. They're not higher than you. Is, Doc, is Doctor Strange's like beyond that? Yes. Yeah. He, he fights uh, actual like, he like fights like interdimensional beings. beings. He fights people like the Beyonder, the Inbetweener. Dormammu, or like, Dormammu. yeah, he, he does. He does fight those people. But yeah. Superman is definitely capable of being people, uh, fighting people like the Spectre. Actually, I, how dangerous is the Spectre? I guess he is universal. I don't think he's bigger than that now. Think about it. Spectre? I, I mean, DC definitely has multiversal people. They do, <laughs> but I don't know if Superman's, like, fought them. Though. Fought them, yeah. Because, like, the anti monitor, but Superman didn't fight him alone. He no, he had the Justice League helping him. Yeah, yeah I was like, so. yeah, there's the anti monitors. Um, and obviously, Darkseid, we had the anti life equation. He won. He won, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, I don't, I can't remember. I'm sure he's probably done it, but I can't remember any. Anti-life. And I already said, like, I'm sure Doctor Strange can be Superman. And I never, my point was never, Doctor Strange can never yeah, be Superman. The burden of proof is just on you. No, that, that was my whole point in that yeah. argument. Because that was, like, the whole thing, like, why do people think this? Like, on paper people usually aren't thinking like making these complex like um solutions like how dr strange are being superman they're like superman strong he could probably just beat dr strange like most people aren't thinking that or like aren't thinking like dr strange is being superman it's not a normal thought that people just have yeah i have to give our viewers the benefit of the doubt they've shown time and time out they do think about these outcomes they don't just like sometimes yeah like you know, the, I'm saying, sometimes the outcomes do look monkey brain but for the most part they seem to be thought out based on like the explanations they always give us like joe bex eduardo beating gojo gabe on paper gojo should win that but they actually thought about it of course yeah, about the i'm not saying they never do yeah. it but yeah of course that's huge man yeah i think it's funny though that he said like superman goes from fighting uh, i forget who he said but like to losing to muhammad ali i think that's pretty that, that yeah, was very valid i'm like i'm like i was like i was like i'm never saying yeah, he's yeah, the most consistent uh, person like, yeah. i'm saying he has more consistent higher feats than Doctor Strange has, because Doctor Strange also fluctuates too. Yeah, I feel yeah. like Superman has more consistent, higher. Yeah, feats. the biggest thing I've seen. For, I don't even think so. I would say Doctor so? Strange is consistently higher. Yeah, he has because Superman constantly feats, yeah. goes lower it's because mm. he always deals with people like Lex Luthor and Metallo, which Metallo, yes, Metallo yeah. is strong, but it, like complexly, he's relatively weak. speaking. But yeah, but there's yeah. plenty of just regular Avenger comics where he's just there with the Avengers and he's fighting like. He's not in the Avengers comics that no, often. No, not often, really. but there's plenty. Like not nearly like, as much as Superman's in the Justice League. Yeah, okay, Justice League. That's okay, the yeah. issue. You're right, you're right. So, like, I think just overall, Doctor Strange is typically fighting the yeah. more stronger people because he's always fighting these, int- like, Nightmare and Dormammu Dom Armor, the yeah. Like, these people who just deal with other dimensions all the time. Mm-hmm. That's what he constantly deals with. Of but, course. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't really care much about the loser bracket, so it doesn't even affect me. I don't really no, no. care to argue about it. Well, one thing I did find was interesting. I didn't think about looking up the subreddit. Is like the Rogue, Rogue? Nevin stuff. I never thought about it like that. But then like um, Tana was saying like like he's collecting the Infinity Stones. Like, I don't know. These powers. I forgot he was, was. Is he still in the losers bracket? Yeah, he won. Is he still winning? I yes. did. I, I didn't even know that. I saw that meme. I'm like, I didn't know Rogue was still a part of this. Yeah, we talked about it last time because he beat uh, Disease God. Oh we yeah, like, he did. Yeah. And I was like, why? Yeah. And yeah, like all right, yeah, like, no. Yeah, no, I mean, he's got all these. Uh, what, you seen the you seen the meme? Right? Yeah, I thought, no, I haven't. You seen oh. the meme? I, I literally don't do any. I don't look at stuff for like oh. a day, and this is what I, I miss stuff. Yeah. I'm not, gonna, like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It says Coco Star like, Stark IQ. I thought it said Cock Stark IQ. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I just like, like, time like, stop, like, yeah, Miss Marvel, think, disease, Batman strategy, Coco Star. I'm pretty IQ, sure Gambit Devin powers. said this at the beginning of like the tournament. He yeah. said the longer Rogue Devin goes through, he could just be collecting mm, powers. more powers. It's just like we just completely forgot about. It, I guess like in the losers bracket, that's what he's doing now. He's he's racking them up. Yeah. Ever since uh, he lost, I was like, oh, okay. Since he lost, now can't really do much man i was like yeah. oh none of the losers wreck yet and then yeah i totally forgot about it yeah he's racking them up now he's got well he put batman strategy in. he did I mean, that he, he tried to slide that in i was like all like, right these powers i mean yeah that's crazy the um time stop is the craziest part time especially stop. when what they were saying was like because the way Guldo's time stop is he holds, he holds his, breath, his breath and they're and like Captain marvel, marvel can breathe yeah like, so it's like can, can he just hold time for infinitely I, I was reading that i was like I guess. I guess I have though. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I will say the one thing I wish was a little different. Like it's just a personal like thing. I wish the time stop was on the time stone. I know. Like, <laughs> like that's an easy like. Yeah. Uh, and then, put, and then, like that, that's already on the. That, mind that's stone. on the mind stone. And then this, power stone, uh, gambit powers, powers maybe. Yeah. Or disease powers either. Way. Either I actually one. Actually, no disease there. on soul maybe. Or it is on soul. Well, no, that's that's the reality stone. Or the. Uh, this is the power stone. Yeah, that's the power stone. What the they meant this one. Yeah, purple. No, say this. The oh, is on yeah. the soul stone. Yeah, the soul stone. Okay. Which makes sense because the disease also encompasses life and death, technically. So. Yeah. I'll just say yeah, it's. Blue ones. That's space. Yeah, space. Uh, space. Does fit in. Because yeah. that's in the Tesseract. Right? Yeah, but I yeah. feel like it really have a time stone. Yeah. They yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have a time stone. <laughs> like, it's just a layup. All I'm yeah. saying is, Gojo doesn't want to see Rogue Devin. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm still saying, are you getting past the Honestly, though, like, what you, you stop time infinitely, then do what? <laughs> then I leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're going to give him. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> I guess you know what the Batman strategy. Yeah, might Batman <laughs> might might go crazy. You have infinite time. Honestly, True. Have, infinite that is actually time. crazy. <laughs> you know, you have Batman with literal infinite prep time is an insane thing to think about. Mm. Yeah, Rogue Devin might clear. What's even crazier is that we've established Jopex Eduardo is so crazy that even if he did fight that, like he goes through the gauntlet and like gets all the powers. Can he still beat Jopex Eduardo? Well, that's a, that's a, that's a yes. time shit. Like, when I stop time, you and I go time, up. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, I'm 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 like, i am like 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 i am ages oh, it's yeah. literally just like two people that just constantly adapt their power sets they're just fighting each other i mean rogue's not really adapting you just i mean it, yeah it, i guess it's, 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 yeah. it's adapting the, the toolkit yeah, yeah, and how yeah, they yeah. utilize the toolkit so it's like crazy truly yeah i was hoping that would happen I, ever since rogue was in like introduced in the tournament i, I kind of want this like this being just to, like be created oh, yeah. you've got a super powered batman level person who has <laughs> infinite prep time isn't it uh, might be over. It might be over. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. We'll see. We'll also has complete control over disease, life, and death. I'm not life and death. Just disease. This is I disease. mean, technically, it's life and death. Being is your disease. Yeah. It's a disciple. So I fought you on this for like two months, and then now you're <laughs> can see. You, yeah, every, you so, keep so, fighting me because so, so, I'm like, da Daddy Gabe says we're doing just disease, and you're no, like, that's yes, Daddy sir, Gabe. Mr. Meowster. Yes. I heard y'all keep fighting me for my. Like, All right, I'm done fighting y'all for this. Oh, thing. but it's like this. You, now you choose to concede this point. <laughs> I think it's funny. The whole tournament, you're like, I'm technically actually just he's life and death. It's like, no, but he's already eliminated. Me. Yeah, I'm already eliminated. Yeah, but I'm saying like now he's like, you know, I'll give Rogue Devin the disease life or just disease. And y'all, y'all just said like y'all still stand by that value. Yeah, it's just disease. I'm like, I'm about to argue for it for the fourth time for no reason. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're just conceding uh, now is a little quirky, weird. Speaking of quirky, uh, y'all excited for the FNAF movie? Um, in October? No. Yeah. yeah, in October. I'm not wearing my suit to it. I got it. <laughs> His spring trap suit? You're not hopping in. <laughs> oh, my spring trap suit? Start walking. We're waiting <laughs> every night. You listen to Living Tombstone on the way there? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> 
I've always that? been waiting for the one movie I want to wear the suit to. I wanted to see Minions Rise of Grease. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do so, it. Yeah. But I heard that the FNAF movie, I'm like, all right, where's my purple suit at? <laughs> you have a purple suit? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but I might I have to will, get I one. one. You have prep time. You I have might have to get one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a what. Did you see the trailer for it? No, I still haven't seen it yet. I know it's there. I just haven't seen it yet. But what? I just know, like, um... People are speculating it's gonna be like really good because like it, it seems really movies. good. Who's making? Is it Blumhouse or yeah, no? Blumhouse? Yeah. Oh, okay. They make pretty good movies. Yeah. Yeah. And it's gonna be like a more dark themed movie. Yeah, I know. It's, it's not gonna be like very like. Well, that's what Blumhouse does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know some people are like criticizing the setting, I guess. So like the like the ba 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 the way the arcade good. looks. Oh, but why, why they're criticizing? It? I don't know. They're saying like, yeah, it doesn't. They say, they're saying it doesn't look. Yeah, it doesn't look game accurate. Like, like it doesn't have to be game accurate. It's totally fine. It's like, okay, you want to be exactly like the games? All right, my people are chilling in the security room <laughs> the entire time. I'm doing nothing, just like. <laughs> There's some guy speed running. Just <laughs> I, I've never understood like people's. Okay, I do understand it, but I hate people's arguments when things aren't like accurate to like the source. Because like at that point, you just know what's gonna happen. That's just boring. Like that's exactly. why. Exactly. That's yeah, why I'm boring. perfectly fine with the MCU just adapts that comics, thing. but they change things. Because like if they just one to one the comics all the time, it's like. You you already know, know what it. happens. Well, not everyone knows what's gonna happen, but like, but like for some in, people yeah. do, and it's just like I'd rather you take liberties and make your own. Well, story. and especially That's the whole point es especially mm -hmm. when you're adapting a game like FNAF, where yes, there is lore behind everything, but you're just in a room. Yeah. Like, it's not like you're like if you want it one to one, you just want him to, like I said, him just sitting in the security room. Like checking his cams, like that's a boring ass movie. Exactly. You obviously have to do stuff external of it. People want everything to be just like how manga and anime is, where it's just, just like one, one, one story one and just, we're gonna adapt, like yeah. animate it. But I don't agree with that. I, I like, I like when stories take their own liberties and make it a new story because I'm tired of asked, seeing like, the same story all the time. If it's asked, it's like, yeah, I love this storyline, but not the movie. Like if Flashpoint's ass, like the the new movie, yeah, it's like, well, Flashpoint's pretty cool in the comics, but. This is ass. I'm not associated with this. Yeah, or you yeah. can, or you can like the vice versa. Be like, I didn't like this storyline in the comics, but, but it like, was really the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. I don't like the Guardians of the Galaxy in the comics. I yeah, like them I, I in the movies. That, I feel that take yeah. a lot. It's like it's not that good in the comics. No, they're comics. just, they're just okay. They're just there. Like no one really ever cared about the Guardians of the Galaxy until James Gunn stepped in and was like, all right, let me show you who's let me boss. Show you what's yeah. up. <laughs> Have you seen Guardians 3? I, I have and I loved it. Did you? I, I, I heard. I heard everyone's like, yes, this is what I, we love. Like, yes. it's, like, it's like the best of the trilogy. Dude, We're the best? The best oh, of the trilogy. It's hard to top one. I, Dude, I one is so one. good. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people argue that it's it's like the best. It's close, but I can't put it above one. The one just has that one has that feeling. Just yeah, just that. It. Yeah. Like it's, it's not nostalgic, but it feels nostalgic. Yeah. Like something about when I watch one, I'm just like, yeah. Ah, and like it's, it's the, since it's the first, like you. All the emotions you have towards it just for that one movie yeah, and then yeah. when they do it to try to do it again like yeah it's maybe it might be just as good but like the second is definitely the worst like that's easily like yeah. it, it easily goes for me one three two second mm, honestly yeah. feels very forgettable really i mean i, I like, enjoyed it no, i remember what happens and i kind of did enjoy it a little bit but it just it feels like the most forgettable also, the one thing that the Guardians always nail that intro song. That Every intro time, got a hit. What's the story with "Come and Get Your Love" in the first Come movie, and, and then Mr. Blue Sky love. in the second movie? Dude, they hit it every time. When I came into Guardians Three, I was like, "Let's get it! Let's like, get, get the it. opening song." <clears throat> it's it's amazing. I love Guardians. I Guardians is part of the reason why I like Star Wars. Like, damn, I like James Gunn. I'm gonna watch a lot of what James Gunn does. You don't like, miss the Suicide Squad and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's missed with, with Guardians 2. I'll say it's a miss. Uh, you think that's a miss? I, I think it's a genuine it think it's a, office success. It's good, but like it's a miss by his standards. Oh, by right? his standards? Like, yeah. Okay, that's what you mean. It's not like a miss <clears> of <throat> like it's an ass movie, but like I hold you to high standards when you've given me good stuff. Yeah. So. Raise expectations. Same thing right. with, with like Iraqi. Like I love Iraqi, but I'm going to say like that, like part five is a miss because I hold him to higher standards because right. I've seen him do better. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But like comparatively to his peers, it's not <coughs> this per se, but yeah. Right, Damn, right. I guess. I guess I see what you mean. Yeah. And it does it also makes me think the DCU might be in good hands because James Gunn, he's he's, he's he's a guy who he looks into his comics, obviously. He mm. he, fi he finds random guys like Peacemaker and he's like, <laughs> I'm gonna make these guys relevant and like make them cool. Right. And stuff like that. So like I, I feel like because he's also doing a Superman Legacy. Is he? Yeah, I, I can't wait to see what he's gonna do. With and DC. I know there's like a timeline here of like what anything he's doing. Um, he's got a couple of movies slated for um the DCU, but I know he is writing himself Superman Legacy. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, he himself. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So has he talked about? Is he gonna, like <clears throat> try to like revamp and like upstart the DC mm -hmm. DCCU like from? Yeah. So is he just gonna like, do like a bunch of like individual movies and then maybe do, like a Justice League movie or what's he gonna do? 
If he's talked um, about, I don't know if he's talked about it or not. I, I'm not sure. I don't think he's talked about making a Justice League movie. He's just talking about like I'm taking it like a step at a time. This is what I'm gonna do. One movie at a time. Yeah. He That's got the one. Superman legacy uh, slated out. They still trying to find their DCU Batman. Everyone's trying to give him fan ideas like Carl Urban and all that. Mm. But obviously, you can't get Robin Pattinson because Matt Reeves is like, I don't want to be part of the DCU. And James goes like, I respect that. No, yeah. I never yeah. disliked Ben Affleck as Batman. But I know some people do. Well, I, I always I enjoyed. Have, I don't. I don't. I don't hate him either. But I think he just wants a fresh start. So I know. I know. Just That's like you. same with Henry Cavill. I think Henry Cavill's perfect damn near super, perfect Superman. Superman. Yeah, I'm like ugh, they're yeah. so good. I don't want to see him go, but yeah, it is what it is. Ezra Miller, I'd be fine with him leaving. Yeah, me too. Like, he's, good, he's not even a good like. Let alone he's not a good Barry Allen. He's a horrible Barry Allen. He's just not As a, a good flash. Actor. He's not even that entertaining. I didn't even say he's like he's like an okay actor total too like just outside of the flash like i've seen other other stuff and it's just i think he's a mediocre. decent actor i think he's mediocre i don't know i think he's decent but like yeah he's definitely not a barry yeah, allen for sure, any no. means i don't know why <laughs> no like he, he doesn't act like barry at all like and i get like we it kind of sounds hypocritical we just talked about like we like when they change things yes but like at that point don't name him barry allen if you're just gonna not give him the characteristics of barry allen mm. right like at least when marvel changes stuff for the storyline they're not changing characteristics per se like Yes, they've changed Thor to make it more goofy, but yeah. like they they have the story make sense for why they're like that. Like the story has made Thor not serious anymore because of mm. what's happened to him. To him yeah. He started in the beginning just as Thor was in the comics. A boring mm. serious guy that you guys claim to all like. <laughs> and then when it happened, you guys were like, he's boring, and then he changed that Marvel fans are hypocritical. Yeah, they they, they don't know yeah. what they want. That's the thing. No, they, they don't, don't they don't know what they want. Like, when they get Thor, it, <laughs> Thor is boring. Why is he so serious and all the time? They're like, okay, let's give him humor. Why is he humor? He's supposed to be a serious strong guy. It's like mm. all right, bro. This is what's wrong right, with the state of cinema yeah. today. No one's gonna have humor. Yeah. People just people don't know what they want, so I'm glad someone like James Gunn's in charge. He he constantly says, Yeah, you guys don't know what you want. I'm just gonna give you what I know you want and smart. Yeah. 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 Have you seen uh, stuff for the One Piece movie? I keep seeing stuff for like the, the one piece movie? Or, or the live action is what I meant. The live oh, action. Oh, live action. I've seen is it. Is it a show? That was a movie. Yeah, it's a show. Oh okay, I know that. Yeah. Uh, what about it? Have you seen anything for it? Yeah, I've seen a lot of stuff about it. I love it. That's why I said, what do you I keep, about I keep seeing stuff about it. Every time I see more stuff about it, like, I don't want to, like, get, like, hype, so hype so. for it, but yeah. a, a lot of the stuff it looks like they're doing, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I love the fact that they're actually building all the Like, the, the set sets. designs? The set designs look Yeah, like, they have, like, uh... The Bratier. They have, like, yeah, they have, like, the Bratier. They have the Mary. They have, like, Arlong Park that they're starting to build. Like they're they're actually like part, develop yep. they're actually building everything out. It's so cool. Yeah, I'm like. I also yeah. love seeing like just the, the, the actors in their personal life. Like the the guy that's playing Sanji, mm -hmm. he he's actually like took up I think either yeah, Muay Thai he, or kickboxing. He took up kickboxing. And, and dude's like fucking insane. Like, he's actually pulling like Sanji. Like, <laughs> he's, see, like, <laughs> he's, like, he's like jumping in the air like quadruple. He's like <laughs> like spinning 360. I'm like, damn, I'm like bro, bro's oh actually God. Sanji. <laughs> and, bro, like, the guy playing Zoro is like actually learning like kendo and stuff. So he has like actual sword technique. So yeah. The guy who plays Zoro already did know that because he's I, in the Genshin uh, movie. Yeah, but he's he's actually developing more, uh, more? techniques. He's just getting he's getting at deeper it? into yeah. it. Yeah. Because I, mean, I know he's already skilled in it because he's done it before for like years. And besides, uh, if it was Kenshin and he just has the one sword, he probably would take time to. No, he's not Kenshin. He oh. was in the Kenshin. Oh. Who was he in the Kenshin movie or show movie? I don't know. I can't remember. I just know people said that's like why they were excited yeah, for him really? to be Zoro. Yeah, because he's, he's in the Kenshin swordsman. either See, show I, or movie. I knew he was a swordsman. I don't remember what he was in, but I knew he was yeah. a swordsman for another like anime, yeah. anime movie. He might have been. Awashi, maybe? Maybe that's who he was? I can't remember, I could though. see it. Either oh, no, way, his like, face looks like more like Sanosuke. But... Either way, I just knew he had the skill because of that. Yeah, like, because he does like, have it, yeah. yeah. But yeah, he's like getting deeper into like Kendo and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just so It's also funny, uh, the guy's playing Luffy. Uh, it's just like seeing him talk, he kind of like Loki talks. Yeah, like he Luffy. has like the manner of Luffy. Like, like, like his goofiness and stuff. Yeah, I saw something like on TikTok. Luffy. He's like, it's pronounced Luffy, not Luffy. And then like... <laughs> He's just like, like this giddy, happy person, so yeah. it was pretty cool seeing him. Yeah, I saw him. He was in uh, the show called The Imperfects. The Imperfects? I didn't like him in that show because it felt like, because he was like the uh, comedic relief a lot. Mm -hmm. And the show didn't, it wasn't serious enough to require a comedic relief, but it's like they were forcing a comedic relief into a spot that's already kind of comedic, comedic. in general. So it's like, it felt very off-putting. I mean, you still uh, have a comedic relief in like... Yeah, but I, I understand. Like, he has his, his times, but it's like he has a, a certain goofiness to him. It just it didn't, didn't fit. It didn't fit the show. Oh, he was a character you haven't gotten to. Oh, and you finished Tian Chen, didn't you? I right? finished Tian Chen, yeah. Yeah, he was, was the final, final villain. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. I was surprising. I forgot that the Ken Sh It was a movie, too. It was the a movie. movie. Okay. only did the last arc. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah.
He's also in the Saint Sam movie that just came out. The what movie? Saint Sam movie that just came out. Like, dude, it just came out yesterday. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, dating it, but yeah, I guess he's just in all the anime stuff. He's the big anime fan, I guess. I mean, he's Japanese. They're like, get him on this anime. Japanese, and you know, sportsmanship. Come on, man. Come on, man. No, but the actor playing Luffy, he's also like a big One Piece fan too. Oh, is he? He's like, I think he's caught up with the manga. Oh, that's cool. Like, so he actually knows like all the mannerisms, all stuff he does, all the moves. But yeah, like I, I, I love seeing stuff for the, the live action. I don't want to, I, I, like I said, I yeah, don't, I don't want to do hype, but... but it looks so. Fun. The only thing I don't like, I don't like the face that they gave Mary. Uh, so like Mary, yeah, the going, oh, Mary. the going Mary, yeah, because yeah, okay. like the, uh, the helm, it, it, like in the, in the oh, manga, yeah, 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 it's just yeah, a yeah. smile of face, but in the, in the show, it's like, <laughs> it's, like <laughs> it's like, it's like super realistic. I'm like, ugh, what is this? Yeah, kind of weird. Done like the goof. Have you seen it? Oh yeah, I've seen, I've seen it. Okay, I seen mean. It? Mm. There's there's real life like models. There's real life models of the Mary, and it looks perfectly normal. They could have done. They could have easily just made like the artistic goat, uh, cartoon goat, but no. I think I think that honestly would have worked. Let me see again. Look that bad. I don't. I just don't like it. Looks, bro. Yeah, it looks weird. <laughs> it looks, I, I don't like so that. That's it's, the it's, one to one it's, adaptation it's, people always ask for. No, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's mouth weird. is open and stuff, and like its, it's tongue is there. It's very detailed in the design. It's they just weird. Easily, like. I think just that's not hard to adapt. Yeah, they could have easy. I would have, I would have loved to. Have, like, if I had that, I'd be like, yeah. There's real life models. Of, there's models in real life that look just like that. Yeah, in Japan. Yeah, Japan. But you have to go for the realism look, though. You can't. You oh, like this. To. Yeah. What you do when you're making when you're making it's this series see. real, you can't also then incorporate animated looks into the real. It breaks the immersion of it, which well, is why they can't just do the one the one thing. There's this one. It's kind of hard to see, but it's. I mean, it. It. Keeps think, the is same that the one thing. in Japan? Uh, or no, is that looks, America? Looks like it. Uh, it. Might be America. I don't know. But mm-hmm. no, I just I don't like the. It's just the mouth is off putting. I think mostly. Oh no, actually, Japan. I don't think Japan has a Mary anymore. I think they just have the Sunny. I mean, oh, I know they have. The, it's the museum. You know yeah. What are you talking about? I know they had the Sunny, but I, I, yeah. what did they do? They just get rid of the Mary? Just got rid of it? I think so. Probably. Mm. I think like when like the manga got rid of the Mary. Spoilers. I don't care, but spoilers. <laughs> they also got rid of it. I think. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Should just gave it to me. I would have used it. Yeah. I mean, they probably recycled it. Japan's a pretty recycling. Yeah. They honestly probably just like took out the external stuff and then just put on like the sunny and they kept the main. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, yeah, most likely. They're, they're such a conservative like per, uh, country that they like to conserve all their materials mm. and stuff and make sure. No, they're not Americans. They don't just like destroy it, <laughs> rebuild it now. Destroy, build, destroy. <laughs> destroy, yeah. build, destroy. Yeah, that was a show, wasn't it? Yeah, it was well, that's why I said it. Yeah. I used to love the show. That was a great show. It was so fun. It destroy, build, destroy came up, and then like level up came up after and then, like, that. You know, like because it would go like do what would happen, destroy, build, destroy, and then level up. Yeah, then level up came out at night. <laughs> I, love, I love to do what would happen because they're just like sitting there and they're like like laying a bean bag. You're like. Dude, what would happen if I like launch myself like th- from a cannon into like 15 panes of glass? Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's like kid Mythbusters. And it's yeah, just, it was it's so, so cool. Fun. I, I love, I love like that era of Cartoon Network as well. A lot of people like, don't. Outside of the cartoons of it, you get the live action stuff. Mm-hmm. It's so fun. A lot of people criticize the era of Cartoon Network. Like, yeah, probably looking back on it now, it probably looks like shit. But like as a kid, that show was cool. That was the like, best. Thing ever. <laughs> that was, that was... Like just honestly, Destroy Build Destroyed by itself. You just go up and it's like, yeah, here's like like a medieval catapult. Destroy it and build me a car. It's like, <laughs> All right, let's figure this out. <laughs> and they're gonna like. <laughs> oh yeah, I had so much fun uh, watching Destroy Build Destroy. And like what Devin was saying, with like people looking back on it, I think people do that a lot. Where it's just like, lot stuff, let's yeah. go look back at things and not take into the context yeah, that I was a kid. kid right? Yeah, with like I think that matters a lot. A lot of times, but people want, people want shows to age like uh, the way you. Well, age. like like Dragon Ball. But it doesn't always like, work we, like we talk about with Dragon Ball. It's like when you're a kid and you have like a whole episode of of yelling and there's like two things that happen for a minute. You're like, that was a good episode. Like mm-hmm. that was amazing. He was getting hyped. <laughs> they were going crazy. Yeah, they were cooking. But it's, it's really just this. like scenery and that's all. Like, objectively, yes, looking back on it's bad. But you take into account, you're a kid. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna notice all the little things that you notice when you're an adult. Yeah. You're just having yeah. fun. Like, oh what? Destroy, go destroy. Go go go! Super Saiyan. What? It just it makes me wonder like what would it be like to watch like a regular like if like somehow I could take Attack on Titan and put it back in the watch like as a seven year old like how I would feel about that pacing. <laughs> I would be spoiled. I'm like, like no <laughs> more. <laughs> I can't watch anything else. This I don't be... even think I'd understand the Attack on Titan to be honest. I think you could understand like surface level things, but you wouldn't be able to understand any of the deeper things. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, think I could do like Death Note because that's pretty easy to understand. Yeah. Yeah. But, like oh yeah. Yeah, Kira Ki- wants to rebuild the world. Loki, I might think he's right. At seven years old, I'm like, yo, Kira's right. Yeah, Kira's right. Bad guys Criminals are bad. 
Criminals are bad. Because I think at the surface level, it is kind of like, yeah, I can get a, get along with that. Yeah, because you don't need the deeper themes to understand Death Note. Yeah. Or at least enjoy Death Note is what I meant. Yeah, not to enjoy, but there are, yeah. Yeah. I also don't think you, you don't necessarily need the deeper themes to, to appreciate Attack on Titan either, especially not season one through two. Yeah, season one, two, yeah. no, no it's, three. It's very much just big monster fight. Who, yeah. Who's stronger. Mm. It's more like, oh yeah, the Titans are the bad guys. We're the good guys. It's it's very cut and like dry. Like season three is where they start getting, and then especially four, oh. they fight. They get. And even then, if you don't even if you even if you still just want to like refuse to understand the deeper meanings of it, you can still enjoy it. It's still a show. I think you can find enjoyment. Enjoyment. In. It's just, but I don't know if a kid would enjoy it. Right? Yeah. Like, like someone in Wario could enjoy Attack on Titan who mm. he doesn't care about the deeper meanings of anything, but he can care. He can enjoy Attack on Titan. I was talking to someone recently <laughs> about Attack on Titan, and. Might it? It wasn't Xenon, no. It was someone, and I was like flabbergasted because I was like talking about, we were talking about like the politics of AOT. And they're like, Eddie, where you said he didn't like it when they started getting political? No, they, they're like, there's politics in Attack on Titan? I'm like, well, what? To be <laughs> fair, in season three, you know, like they t they discuss politics. It's not like. Well, people. How, well, yeah, no, no. It's not like. Politics with our they they discuss with our politics. Yeah. But they're like, I don't. I, there wasn't politics in AOT. I'm like, there was politics in AOT, and I was like flabbergasted that they would think that but they didn't think about like you said because we ended up deducing that they associated politics, politics. with like our democrat politics like democrat yeah. Republican. Yeah. not even democrat republican it's like our format of government yeah, it's just and different. they don't think that like politics apply to outside of government officials mm. Mm. yeah it definitely wasn't xenon because xenon understands that no it wasn't xenon before yeah it was it was some i forget who it was and i was like I was like, what I used did you to, just say to me right To be now? fair, I used to be like that when I, uh, when I was first watching AOT. People were like, yeah, I hate, people always said, like, yeah, I hate the politics in, like, season three. I'm like, there's politics in season three? And now I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I think it's also, like, the way it's <laughs> worded to you. It just sounds like they're they're saying, like, they're pushing yeah. an agenda. Because that's what you hear when people talk about, like, Marvel. They're like, I hate the politics. It's like, oh, they're pushing, like, an agenda. That's they're against what, what I, they're, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I associate it with. So I can understand why someone would be flabbergasted about that. Yeah, because I was just... I was just confused that like, because I am in the political realm. I like I I love politics, um, especially like AOT politics, where it's like it doesn't impact like real world stuff. Like it doesn't have to push so real world fiction, agendas. Like right, like fictional yeah. politics. Yeah. Like that. Like Akumetsu. Like all that stuff is just I love the politics of it. Code Geass. I haven't seen Code Geass yet, but yeah. Oh, no. Like I, I I love all that, and it was just I was taken aback when. But I I had to take a step back and like okay let's talk about like why you don't think there are politics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then go a little deeper into that, you know. True. You might have been talking with one of the girls then. Maybe it might have been. It might have been Coral. <laughs> Poor Coral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got me talking. Yeah, she got you blushing. She got me. She got me really? kicking my feet. <laughs> 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 oh. but remember that. In intern said he didn't like Attack on Titan when it came political. True. Remember that during voting season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what else? Y'all seen anything? I, I uh, finished the Blue Lock anime. That, that was gas. <laughs> that went nuts. Yeah, I guess you've read it, right? Or no? uh, well, I just started reading it. Oh, okay. I, I watched it when it was weekly, and you told me like they were slated for twenty four episodes. I'm like, I'm not doing this for twenty four weeks. So then I dropped it, and that's when I went on oh. to my list. Yeah. And then now that it's done, I, I finished Kenshin, and then I'm it's been going done back. for a while though. Well, I know, but I was I was okay. reading all the stuff on my list. I was gonna get to like the end of my my first manga section, and then I was gonna go back watch and then i'm reading it right now yeah and then i'm gonna go back but dude you got anime one coming one. up what you got mom one coming mom up. i think i'm actually really excited for my mom section uh because I, I can't wait to read stuff like like uh omniscient reader god of high yeah. school um tower, tower of god, god tower yeah. of god so the leveling. rest of it so you want to read like uh the manhwa that Ed, what xenon was recommending I, honestly, I uh, I don't I don't remember which one he was. I'll just ask him. But he you, has like an extensive list from watching the episode. No, I don't remember. What, I remember he talked about. It. I don't remember what the name was. I mean, I can just go back and watch. I'm sure he no, said it was. It. it was Lao Tzu the Count's family or something. I know what it was. I was just wondering oh. if you guys. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, yeah, I like, read it. Yeah. Like I, I wouldn't mind like Xenon. Can you if you give me like ten suggestions? This is what I have right now on my list. Outside of these, you give me like ten suggestions for Manwa because Manwas go really fast. You can zoom through manwas way faster than you can zoom through mangas. Yeah. Yeah, like I was saying, yeah. you can zoom yeah. through manwas way faster than you can zoom through mangas. My only issue with manhwas is that they just never end. That's my issue with this. <laughs> like, like, don't mangas end. have a clear cut end and goal. Manwas don't. It's it's their, even, their, it's goal, even, their goal is to just extend their series exactly. as long as they possibly can. Especially because it's like most of them are like webtoons and stuff like that. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like they. 
they don't they get have money. like they don't not associate with like with a publisher or anything. They just yeah. publish it to webtoons. So of course they're like, I can keep getting money. I'm gonna keep getting money. So, yeah. so like which is why I don't like reading manga because they have no end. And it's t it's mm. so bad because I've seen people who are like I'm on like manga TikTok. And, like, like there's like this one Asian guy that always talks about like manwas. He's like the manwa connoisseur basically. He's yeah. kind of like how broken is with like his niche stuff, but like for yeah. manwas. So he's talking and he's like. I hate it when I like I find a 300 like chapter manhwa, I read it and it gets just to the good part and I found out the author died or he just like gave up. <laughs> or it's like, or it's like, like I, I that also like, happens a lot. Like, like, like I'm going through it and I get to the end, so I click on the author and he has like a hundred works and they're all unfinished and I'm like, ah. yeah, that's another the thing because like they'll they'll do either multiple projects and they'll, or they'll be like, eh, I quit because they'll get bored. It. They're like, yeah, yeah whatever. I've done exactly. this long enough. I'll go this. Yeah. I'll, I'll come back. They never come back. Exactly, mm. which is why I'm so picky with my manhwa. I will only read stuff that's finished. Because yeah. I do not want to read something that's unfinished just for the, mon the author to be like, eh, I'm done with it. Yeah. Or for me to reading it for like 20 years just for it to not be finished. Yeah. I was finally happy when Soul Level, when I read Soul Level, it I was finished? like, finally, a manga that's finished. Nope, picked it back up. It's like, all right, I'm, I got I got more left in me. So now it's going on again. I'm like, great. Lovely. Now I got to read Soul Loving again. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. As someone who doesn't read manga, all right, because I never read a manga before, uh, and you said like they like, don't end, do you find it like most manga kind of like, or like um manga usually like gets stretched thin or like the, you find like certain no. artists trying to like for some reason they always have ideas like they always have ideas. no like god of high school is a perfect example of it he just keeps stepping it up every time because he's a uh, he's basically at this point he's sun wukong yeah he's sun wukong that's what he's based off <laughs> he's of, always yeah. just going journey of the west he just looks yeah. at journey of the west he's like all right <laughs> all right i get next. more material okay he fights cool. buddha like like he's always got someone like they have always, in tower of god somehow he's he's astonishing to me the fact that he's got because he has 100 floors and he goes through every single every floor, floor. Yeah. no and what's crazy about tower of god is that they have like a like a um i can't remember if it's like a rest area but it's like every five floors it's like a rest area and once you clear that floor you can go back to like any of the previous floors to the fives and it's like they flesh out so much of every floor it's insane like i didn't like, i don't want to say like that's what i want sao to be but something akin to that where they like that's yeah. that's like my vision of sao yeah. you know because like tower of god took what sao had but did it good mm -hmm. mm. and what's crazy is that every floor doesn't feel like it's nothing like it feels like it's no it's they, a, it feels like it's, it's it's important it's relevant to the story yeah. it's there for a reason right whereas Which is like why he's like so baffling to me exactly. like how does he have he so just has many all his ideas, ideas. Yeah. and they're all unique they're all different yeah. well there's some similarities like yeah, the, the five floor thing where they're it's all like good though is the thing like none of yeah. them feel boring really no they, like, all, oh, they all have depth. A, this is a filler floor like, and what's, none of what's even cool too is that you can go beyond a floor Mm -hmm. And then they'll go back like ten floors, and they miss something that's actually challenging. Right. Wow. And it's like it's like, oh yeah, we missed this like boss level basically. <laughs> and they go back and like do that. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Tower of God is is what <laughs> Sao could have been. <laughs> issue with tower of god is though the author has a lot of health issues he mm, at no. first he had health issues and because he was pumping out chapters weekly all the time and then he stopped he went on hiatus for like four years came yeah. back he was fully healthy and he was like all right cool i got it and i think he got mad at his viewers or readers i guess because they were doing something that was annoying him so he like protested them by like just not doing it again <laughs> And then he came back again, started writing it, and he was like, all right, I have writer's block. And he's on hiatus again. <coughs> yeah. So he, that's that's the issue with Tower of God is that he's just, he's on hiatus. He's good. Like, Tower of God's good, but it's just like, for one, no, there is an ending in sight per se, because it's the, the top of the tower. Top. But like, the way he go, the way he writes it, it feels like the ending will be like 3,000 chapters. It's like One Piece. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. Yeah. It just keeps going. That's interesting. And they also have foreshadowing. It's, it's, it's so good. I yeah. can't. That's why I can't wait to get back in my manhwa bag. Cause yeah. there's like, you could have a similar story between like a manhwa and a manga, but so, for some reason manhwa it just feels different. The like, Koreans got the ideas. Yeah, man. I, I, I can't. <laughs> they got that creativity. You know, you know what I'm talking about, like, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, they got like two <clears throat> similar stories. One's manga, one's manhwa. The manhwa just like hits different sometimes. It just like yeah, it, it feels better. Do you think you maybe because like they're not like burnt out or like burdened like deadlines so as it like they I still have deadlines? Do they? Yeah, they still. Because I don't know how manhwa is. Yeah. Right? I know like it was. Like, I think. I think it may be, uh, one again, this is not something I'm familiar with. It might be like slightly easier for them or maybe even mo it's way easier. Yeah, I'd I don't say know. It's, I'd say, I'd yeah. say it's a lot I'm just easier. more familiar with the Japanese manga scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'd say, I'd, like just from like my own opinion as a consumer, I, I'd say it probably is easier to write a manhwa relative. Uh, Cause like, it seems like even if it's the same number of like pages, cause there's not really pages in manhwa, yeah. it's kind of like a strip and you just read down. Yeah. Um, right. But it's like, they'll have a lot of scenes, like especially once you've already established your characters, where it's like no dialogue it's just like like they'll do stuff or it's like there'll be minimal dialogue mm. so it's like they're just going through their actions um you don't have to put as many like 
in between scenes you can cut a lot it just it feels different in manhwa also it's like you don't have to you don't in manhwa you, you don't have to draw complete like when you have your panel you don't have to draw like a complete background or something it could just be a white background no, of a character yeah so I mean, it's, it's, it, all you have to do is draw the character he says something and then you go to the next thing yeah i've definitely seen like pictures of like manhwas and they generally just look like comics yeah they just they look do, like yeah. like how like a comic would be like framed or like paneled mm -hmm. I mean, that's what all these are. They're all like manga is also just a comic. Yeah, but like manga is like the same style, though. Yeah, but it's it's still a comic yeah. to them. It's yeah. just about the Japanese taking in a different approach than Americans or Koreans do. Yeah, mm. it's just a difference in culture. Yeah, but yeah, like you mean like it looks like I'm like American Americanized comic. Comics, yeah, yeah, Americanized comics, meant. yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It definitely feels like a similar feel for sure. I mean, it feels a little different. Basically, like obviously the strip is is a different. Well, the strip yeah. is like the biggest I giveaway. Yeah. I think just like the ideas feel more abstract though. Like comics are more like bare, bare bones. It's like superhero stuff typically. Like yeah. So it's like you kind of get the idea. Like when you read a su American comic, you kind of know what you're getting into. It's either like you're either getting that gritty humanoid type of story, or you're getting the superhuman type of story, mm. right? Whereas yeah. like manhwa, you can go from talking about a kid going to school, like having a romance yeah. and stuff. To like a guy fighting dungeons like it just, just i think the ideas are more, more abstract. yeah 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 hmm. uh, i enjoy i enjoy the manga as i do read i just like i'm very picky because i i hate reading <laughs> it's the same thing with manga honestly but the only thing is mangas typically end they usually frequently. finish yeah <laughs> so yeah. it's just like i gotta pick and choose am i gonna read this manga is it finished is it worth nope. my time yeah yeah that's that's like my issue because like i read um omniscient reader like when it was coming out because i think I read it when that came out because it was like one of the like hyped manhwa that yeah, was coming sure. out. So I was like, I'm gonna go read it. Real like Omniscient Reader yeah. and Un Unordinary kind of came out like similar time. No, I don't know. It was Omniscient early. Reader is way newer. Yeah, it was it was earlier on, but it, they went on like a, like a hiatus for a while, and then it came back and it, it got a lot of hype. Because I'm talking about maybe we're talking about something different because the manhwa I'm talking about literally came out in 2020. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Unordinary. Unordinary's been out for a while. Because I was I was thinking about like the one there was one that came out like 2018. Maybe the Gamer. Maybe might have been the Gamer. There was another one that was like really big. Uh, I thought it was on Mission Reader. I guess it was something else. But it, like, it, it was after Unordinary, but Unordinary had like a hiatus, and then it came back, and then like they both came back at like the same time. Yeah. And then, like, reason, another thing is, why is Unordinary not finished? Like I haven't caught up on it, but like how okay, when I was reading, going? I read it like junior year high school. I'm, I'm legit talking like like six years ago or some shit. <laughs> and, and, like finish. I was at a point, I'm like, yeah, we're getting the final arc. Let's go. <laughs> and <laughs> it's still going. It's still going. Yeah. I'm like, I, what else could you do if like. I don't have powers, but I do. <laughs> like, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> but I actually do. <laughs> I'm actually the strongest one here. <laughs> like, what else are you gonna do? Yeah. An ordinary was a fun read, though. I, I liked yeah, an ordinary. It was. I, I would definitely recommend for someone who's like, if you like American, American comics, an yeah. ordinary is the one. I think that's the closest you'll get to an what is, what is it about? It's about the kid who goes to a yeah. school with a bunch of people who have powers. powers. And okay. he like doesn't okay. have powers. He does not have powers. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't have, have powers, but he does. <laughs> but he has like the strongest powers. So yeah. he's like okay. him. Yeah. But he like. It's a pretty cool story though. Like, I think yeah. all the characters are good. Right? They're pretty unique. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, um, I can't even remember the main girl's name, but she's cool. I remember like what they look like. I, I remember like yeah. uh, all the characters, they weren't cookie cutter. They, they had depth to their character, yeah. which was nice. Except for like the main character from where I read to. <laughs> just a Kirito cloak. Because it was just a Kirito cloak of like, like, I'm not strong, but I am. And I can beat your ass. Don't touch me. <laughs> it's like it's like he did it's so like, like generic. It's, it's, it's literally, it's literally like she's like at a party and like these guys were messing with her and he's like, hey guys, she said she doesn't like you. <laughs> she Stop. said no. She said no. <laughs> hey man. And they're yeah. like, what are you doing, peasant? You don't have any powers. And they push him. And he's, like, the he's, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, what are you? What's up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Just Why the bullies. Like that? yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty much what he is. Yeah. Like at least from what I read, because I read like the first. I want to say. 70 or 90 chapters mm. yeah and that's what it felt like it's just like hey man she said knock it out <laughs> <laughs> hey man gentlemen talking like, to you bro <laughs> when i was like when i was into the manhwa community that was like the main argument against ordinary is that he's not even like like the girl is a better main character than he is dude the, which the at the fucking, time i had to agree with the bully was a better main character than he was he, he, like, like, yeah, he i was wouldn't a... go that far <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a main character she kind of was yeah she's like, like if, if you were to make character. it like a person that you would understand it's like a naruto sasuke thing where it's like right. they're both main character to drive the story but obviously naruto is the main character yeah that's what she is she's like, where she's the, yeah. well that's not what well Sasuke it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like johnny and and, and uh gyro, gyro? yeah because like like he's the johnny where it's like he at the beginning doesn't really have a lot of depth and then he gets his depth later on yeah whereas like she just comes out swinging and she's yeah, there she comes out she's already a great character yeah yeah so that's kind of how it is hmm. interesting
But I'm, I'm excited to get to my Monwa. But I'm excited to finish Blue Lock. Or not finish, but like, catch up to fin Blue Lock. Because, yeah, like, finished. it's... Apparently, they're not even close to being finished. No. Yeah, I looked it up and Blue they're... Lock is, all... Blue Lock is crazy, though. I love Blue Lock. I think it's it's sports manga done right. Like, that and Haikyuu. Like, Dude, that's the standard. That's what I was saying. Some, there's something Blue about, like, any... Not any, but like from what I've seen of like uh, a sports anime, mm -hmm. even if you don't like sports, I think you could just get hyped to sports anime. It just goes hard. Like just watching I think that, that goes into hype. being done right though. Because like, there right, yeah. like there's like stuff where I'm like, this is kind of like Ashina Nojo. Maybe hot take, but for the manga readers, but mm -hmm. Ashina Jojo don't get me hyped for boxing, right? But like maybe Hajime no Ippo does get me. Like I've never seen it, but maybe yeah. it does. Maybe I think it just has to be done right. Yeah, like Haiku right. and, and Blue, Blue Lock, Lock does it right. Yeah. Blue Lock has the perfect amount Crimbo of just hype. Good. The characters are likable, which helps. Because yeah. if the characters aren't likable, you're not going to get hype per se. Exactly. Like, it, it's very like, because you love characters. Like, mm. all sports is just oh, yeah. very character based. Character -based. Yeah. The it's best. About how can the, your characters react? Yeah. Like, the best sports manga are character driven, exactly. which is mm. partly the reason why I think they're the best. Because there's not really plot a sport, you can do a team sports. sports. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> like, like Slam Dunk, the reason we yeah, love exactly. Slam Dunk is the characters, exactly. right? It's not it's about the interaction the characters the have with each other. We're not care about the basketball scenes. Like, like, like the basketball scenes are good, right? Like, yeah, it's cool. He's like, yeah. Gorilla Dunk. Come yeah. Oh my god. Slam Dunk is the character. Exactly. Yeah, because you want to, you know, care about the team. Like, exactly. Like, exactly. if they're winning, like, I like if they do win and I don't like the character, like, why, why do I yeah. care? Like, yeah. you have to have a reason why I care about these guys winning. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's Which also is, why I loved uh, I Shield 21 because all the characters were they're very likable. There, there wasn't really a lot of depth, I would say. Um, that not that they weren't one dimensional, but there wasn't a lot of like depth to their characters. But they're all like wacky and zany and unique to themselves, like, they're yeah. very self contained within themselves. And it's, like it's such a, feel, it's right? like Blue Lock, yeah, it's like you have, you have these interactions and, and how they play the game and how they evolve the game. It, it's just so fun to watch the characters go through the struggle of fighting as seemingly impossible. I also love the trope of like cartoony uh, players on a team and they verse like a very serious, like <laughs> I'm actually the, like the most perfect player in this, oh, okay. in, like, I love this that one truth. thing, like uh, what's his name, Shin from, uh, oh, you, didn't, you, didn't you didn't read Actual 21. Um, there's a guy named Shin. I think his name's Shin. He's like he's like basically the best football player in Japan, effectively. <laughs> and like he is like the guy, and like uh, he's just a monster. And Sina, who's the main character, has to constantly like run into this wall mm. until he finally has to figure out a way to get past the wall. And it's just so fun, like showing that development and stuff. That's cool. Is I think you, like, if you got more into sports stuff, like Slam Dunk, I Show Twenty One. Blue Lock. I mean, High Q and Blue Lock are. Yeah, I just, think High Q is great for beginners. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I think the only sports thing I watch is Crocodile's Basket. That's the only thing yeah. I've seen. And I hate Crocodile Basket because <laughs> the characters are unlikable. <laughs> I hate the characters. I also, like, also don't like their, like. Not that I don't like their superpowers, but like the guy that like can hit any shot from anywhere on the court. Yeah, I mean, that's kind <laughs> of I mean, not just win then. That's, that's, that's boring. Like 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 Rose in the, the the back corner full court shot. It's like don't double team him. He's like you should have five team me. <laughs> you <laughs> like, fool. Or it's like the guy that uh, I think it's the same guy, but the guy has like the passing ability. And then he was no, like a different guy. No, but he was about to shoot. and He was like this with no ball, and the yeah. guy passed yeah, it into his hand. And and he's shot. Shot. I'm like, <laughs> I don't think it'll work. What is this? I'm like, what is this? I, I just love how absurd it is. That's why it's so absurd. I like I love it. Yeah. It's just wacky enough for like this is cool. So like like Blue Lock is also wacky because they all have special moves, but oh, it's yeah. like done right. Yeah, like, when he's, like, he's, like, he's like, I know that your striking range is 27 meters. He's like, I've been training this 28. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's just Blue Lock. I, I feel like Blue Lock did like the special move powers better. Better, than yeah. Uh, I also think Blue Lock has like the scaling is great. Like I think the power it's scaling, reasonable too. No, the yeah. power scaling in Blue Lock is great because it's always like this is the top guy of like this arc, this section, right? And yeah. it's like okay, it makes sense. And you get to the next arc, it's like it's reasonable to assume these guys are better than this guy. Like mm. in every arc, it steps up and it always makes sense for. It's always like, feasible. Yeah, and it yeah. doesn't. It you never fall prey to the issue of. The, the like the bad guy joins the good guy team and he's worse. That never happens in Blue Lock, I mean, from my experience of it. Because it does happen yeah. where it's like the bad guy, like the antagonist, like the team, like say, because the way Blue Lock works, the team, the teams are always changing based oh, on because yeah. not like every game, but no, like, not every game, but like every arc they change. Depending depending on the arc and the situation, teams will change because of the situation, situation. that happens. Yeah, yeah. So there can be a time where the main character is versing this one guy in in part one of this like arc. And that guy's really good. And it comes to arc two. He gets that guy on his team. team. He's still really good. He doesn't just become bad like how we. There's only there's only team. like yeah. one time I could say that really happened that he like became bad. 
But it's just it, I forget his know. name, but it's the the uh, tall guy with like the hair and the scar who's like OCD, and he like he jo he joined the team for the three player team, and like oh you talking about the top three guy, the tall guy? Yeah, the tall guy. When did he become bad? Uh, when he joined uh, Isagi's team, and like Isagi like broke his spirit, and he's like, "Come on, donkey, come with me, donkey." Are you talking about Baro? Baro, oh, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even then, I wouldn't say that Baro no, was no, never it, scaled no, that it, it, highly. No, though. it wasn't. Yeah, he kind of was at the beginning because of relative how, how to the yeah, team, yeah, relative though. to how they were. Yeah. But that goes back to what you were saying. I'm trying to say like he got better, and yeah. it made him seem not as good. Yeah. But then he like now Baro had to take the next step to get better. Yeah. Cause it's not like it's not like he joined the team and was bad. It's just everyone else got yeah, so, so much, much better, better that he now is scaled relative to them, and now yeah. he has to find a way to get better. Right. Yeah. I think Paro is just a perfect example of how Blue Lock just does scaling right. Exactly. They use him as the metric a lot, in a lot of the time. For He's sure. kind of the, the piccolo in a sense. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like all right, let's rip, use rip let's boy. use Paro as the measuring stick because he's the first antagonist of of Blue Lock. So it's like, damn, this guy's unbeatable. He's just he scores from anywhere, and you get to the next stage where it's like, okay, it's a little bit more team based, and he's an individual player he gets exposed right. exactly yeah. like his whole because th the whole thing of blue lock is ego yeah so like basically isagi like destroyed his ego mm. when he won yeah so it, it was like a whole thing that's why i say he, he also did kind of become useless for like half the game and he's like but it makes it. sense though it, yeah, it made it, sense that's why the thing, would, like yeah. when it comes to like characters that become like bad to good it usually doesn't make sense for why they're, they're weaker yeah. yeah like <laughs> his made sense because it was described in his character from the mm. beginning that's how he is but yeah mm. Yeah, that was that was fun. Like, Definitely, the anime uh, was crazy. The only I thing know. I didn't like was the CGI, but I, mean, I got I past it. Problem with it because it wasn't that often. I, I hated how like half the scene will be animated and half of it will be CGI. Well, you have to think about like how you're gonna animate them moving though. You have. Well, to no, no, I I understand like why they did. I'm not saying like I don't understand why they didn't do CGI. It just like visually, if you're, I feel like if you're gonna go CGI, you could just do like it all CGI. It would make not the look whole good. thing CGI. I don't know, like, it just it was it just weird. How, like like like. Everything was normal, and then like one person CGI and he's running or something. <laughs> it was just weird in my mind, my opinion. A yeah. Weird champ. But Blue Lock was was crazy. The manga's going crazy too. Yeah, I can't wait to watch it. Yeah. Whenever I get to it. Whenever you get to it. Yeah, I'm still in my real life bag. When 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 do you? What have you been watching? Well, <clears throat> I just got like my Breaking Bad era. Mm -hmm. You've been out of that for a while. Oh, I've been out there, but once I like once I finish the show, I like learning everything about it. So like. I, when I get done with the show, I don't just okay. Done, done with the show, I'm gonna watch another show. I like learning things about it. like I watch YouTube videos about it. I like catching up with the memes because Breaking Bad memes are hilarious. It's like oh, I get gotta, I, I gotta finally gotta get these memes though. The memes. Huh? <laughs> you gotta catch up on the memes. <laughs> I don't catch up like... with the memes, but I see the memes now. I'm like oh my god, I get it now. Yeah. And I see like just v videos about it. But I do that too, but that's only with series like I actually like. Like, not like if I'm watching like some random series, I'm like, okay, it was it was all right. I'm not gonna go into the. Well, yeah, no, I, do, I don't do it every show, but like the show, like, like The Office. When I watched The Office, I enjoyed The Office, so I was like, I'm gonna go watch more about this. I saw like the Strength and Strangler stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like stuff like that. Like I completely get that if you enjoy a show, but I don't do it every time. Do you do it every time? No, I don't do it every time. But like since like I'm someone who doesn't watch real life shows as it is, so like the, the shows I do watch are like some of the best. Like I know these are highly regarded, and that's why. I'm watching because I want to see what people are talking about. So yeah. that's why next day I'm watching How I Met Your Mother, and after that's Parks and Rex. I probably won't do it for Parks and Rex. I probably I don't, I don't know. Think there's much deep. Yeah, you know, but, but, but like for them with Breaking Bad, it's so big and there's so much stuff. Oh, yeah. Like yes, I want to learn a lot about Breaking sure. Bad and like the better call. Like did everything. you ever watch El Camino? Yeah, I, I, I've watched everything in the universe. Yeah. How'd you feel about El Camino? It was just a movie. It was okay. I didn't feel any certain way to it. I'm like, oh, this is. Like Breaking Bad, I'm like, oh yeah, I, will, I like to tell Jesse's story, and it ended. It ended. I'm like, it's okay. the worst in the trilogy. It is the worst in the trilogy. Are we, how do you compare it to like, it's a short. It's the worst. It's the worst in the trilogy. It's the worst. I don't think that's fair at all to it's, compare this short movie You're, to like yeah, a whole series, two blunder. series. Classic blunder. You see you blunder? These blunder. are two massive series about the beginning of start. I wouldn't say two, massive. It's like five not, seasons. Five, like, five <laughs> seasons. So Devin, Devin, massive. Two, so and you see the beginning to end to these amazing characters and you see like this movie about a character we already know and just how the story from the up. from the show yeah okay so, Je so, so jesse's character arc worst of the three so uh, Devin, well, worse Jesse. than walters and worse than saul's okay i would agree but i personally i do like jesse more than i do Walt. yeah yeah well, that's fair okay yeah, that's okay yeah. I was like, yeah i like jesse more <laughs> yeah i mean I would but like so. yes court character story i guess yes he is the worst out of that <laughs> that's three yeah saul is the best in my opinion yeah saul's my favorite character yeah yeah, him I mean, and Mike. Uh, yeah, like Saul, Mike? Saul's I love Mike. Saul's first. I I, I like. I, really I like Nacho. I like I like Mike and I hmm? like 
nacho. Making, uh, you like nacho or you said nacho. I would like nacho? I like nacho. Nacho's okay. He wouldn't not make nacho. What? Ignacio. Yeah, that's nacho. Yeah, that's nacho. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just says his name yeah. like it's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't like red. I like rojo. <laughs> I mean, that's not what he's. Is it Ignacio? No, no Ignacio is Ignacio. His oh. nickname's Nacho. Oh, his nickname's yeah. Nacho. Okay. Yeah. You thought Ignacio was Nacho in Spanish? I don't know. I, feel like I don't know Spanish. I think Nacho is just Nacho, <laughs> <laughs> just Nacho <laughs> Spanish. It probably, after you said that, I'm like, I think Nacho is just Nacho <laughs> Spanish. Huh? Yeah. No. Uh, I was gonna say like I, I did like Nacho. I liked Mike a lot more in Better Call Saul. Yeah. We got to see oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. More of him because in Breaking Bad he got kind I mean, of he annoying. wasn't even main. Like, he wasn't even meant to be in uh, Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad. Was he not? Was he not? Mm -mm. He was only there because I can't remember. I remember um, what's his name? Bob Odenkirk said this in an interview. Mike was only there because one of the characters who was supposed to be in the story couldn't be there because they were filming something else. So he put Mike in the story. I didn't know. See, that's why I watched yeah. it like that. I love seeing shit mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah. But let no. me find out. Let me see if I can find out who it was. But I don't think it was. I don't think it was Walt. Oh, who is he? Um, Brian Cranston. I don't think it was him. It might have been. It might have been John Carlo though. No, like, I don't think it would. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. No, uh, I will say though, watching Squid Game right now with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> How's that going? She's kind of like mid Loki. I'm watching. Well, you knew everything that happens, Tyler. I already okay. saw it. Yeah, no, I haven't seen it yet. No, he knows. No, seen Squid Game. No, this is why I said that. I'm like, how do <laughs> we? Had, I feel like me and you have had a conversation about Squid I'm Game. I'm watching it. I'm like, I'm like. The only thing I actually like care about a lot. Oh, it was just, it was Bob Odenkirk. He oh. couldn't be there for an episode, so they swapped him out. Also, oh, he was supposed to do the job. That, uh, yeah, really. That's that's. Well, okay. I don't know if he was supposed to do the job, but he was supposed to be in that episode. But he was filming. It actually might have been when he was reporting the office, actually. Mm. Yeah. But um, Bob Odenkirk was busy, so they had uh, him come in and play a character, and they just, they loved it. Same yeah. thing with um Gus. Really, Gus was like an impromptu thing as well yeah, because. Right. John Carlo came in the scene. And he was like, "I want the role." So he he sweated his ass off of that role, and made a good role, and mm. they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna make him the main villain." Yeah, I don't and know. Originally, was supposed to just be the manager. Right. I don't know if this is a hot take or not, <clears throat> but I like Lalo more than I do like Gus. I don't think that's a hot. Take. Okay, I don't know. I don't know anything. That, I I do. But you're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're you're wrong. Like Gus, like, I don't know if it's a hot take, but I would say I don't know the hot take, but yeah. I really like Lalo. I like I, yeah, I, I, I love I, Gus. I, I love I Lalo, but but better than Gus you know, as an. It, it's tough, right? Because they do two different things for me. They I, do, right? And also, it goes into what you were saying about El Camino. Lalo just has more screen time than Gus does as a villain. Does he? Because in Better Call Saul, he's not the villain. He's the villain. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Lalo is the villain pretty much all of Better, Better Call Saul. Saul. He has that whole runtime to be the villain. So it's like, it's so different. Like, if yeah. if Gus was the villain off rip in Breaking Bad, that would be a different story. Yeah, I would never say, like, he's a better character than Gus, but me, I do like Lalo than I do, like, uh, more than I do Gus. Cause like when he disappears, and like I just like not only do you not know where he is, but the characters don't know where he is. So I feel like I'm like in there. Like where the fuck did he go? Well, I think he's also more like I think he's more threatening than Gus is. Cause Gus is threatening well, is more like in his influence. It, yeah, Whereas influence. Lalo yeah. will directly do <laughs> something. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, will poke your house with a gun and be like, all right. Yeah. Uh, spoilers. He's directly about it. I'm gonna kill someone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas Gus is just like, I'll have my boys do it. Oh yeah, my boys yeah. will do it. So yeah. it's like, if I was confronted by Gus, would I really be afraid of him or what he will do? Will do. I'm afraid of Lalo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Lalo yeah, got yes. that Salamanca rage and, and, yeah. and craziness. And his smile, yeah. his like his his charisma, I and mean, when he smiles in any conversation he's in, oh, I just love it. I don't know. Like I would agree with you if your statement is just the like you enjoy him more, yeah. but it's like better character. I think it's I never, too, I never said he's a better character. I just like okay, him more. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I like him. Sure. I would more. agree. I like Lalo more than Gus, but like better characters, I think is it's just hard to compare. Like them. if I had like a top five characters, in my opinion, Lalo would be over over, over Gus. And that's yeah. just like my personal list. Mm -hmm. well, that's just in like you enjoyment, right? Yeah. Like, enjoyment, yeah. 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 Which matters, yeah. I would I would agree. I think Lalo is is sometimes just more enjoyable. Like Gus is he's a good character, yes, but like is he that enjoyable on screen compared to what Lalo does? Well, yeah, because really. the big thing mm. about Gus is that they do a, different lot of, things. a lot of what Gus does is in the background. Ooh, right. It's exactly. it's very much of like I'm playing the long con. Like I'll figure it out. Lalo is like, okay, you crossed me, I'm gonna again pull up to your house and kill you or yeah. like, whatever. I'm gonna you know, go stalk you from a fucking gutter. Yeah, like, yeah. Like he's like he's oh, in so the trenches. Cool. Yeah, like the whole yeah. scene where he like just dragging the chair through the sewer. Yeah, and he put it on there, and he's like, and he's just gusting. Everything he's doing, like, recording, yeah, yeah, just recording all that. And the thing yeah. that's the first time we see him in a while, because like yeah, for like two Mexico, episodes he's, he's gone. 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 So, yeah. so we're constantly asking like, when is he gonna show up? And I'm constantly like, oh, he's gonna show up in this scene? No, yeah. okay. And what's okay, even okay. crazier is like like when you thought he was dead for like an episode because of what happened at the house, and then he's like, no, I'm not dead. I'm here. That was a fake. It was crazy. It's like. 
I genuinely think at this point, from what I've seen from the Breaking Bad community, I think most people probably agree with you because a lot of people agree Better Call Saul is better than Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah, for sure. I wouldn't I say that. I don't agree with that. But really? No, I, I definitely agree. So, the way I the uh, way I separated it out, right? I love Saul. Saul's my favorite character, but as a main character, I do prefer Walt. Walt is a more main character wise, I, I prefer Walt as a main character. Really? Mm. Yes. Why? I just like seeing because yeah. like um let me let me continue because like um story wise I prefer Breaking Bad the plot story I do prefer Breaking Bad character wise I, I do prefer Barco Saul yeah. so that, when I'm separating these two things I'm like I'm separating like why do I like these two shows so yeah character wise I got Barco Saul and it's, I don't know I just it's interesting watching Walt do whatever he does it's like seeing his characters do just. <laughs> hmm. It's not interesting seeing Saul. Sa- no, it is, but like, like Saul. I think like Saul also just has meant- clearly the better cast. For yes, sure. oh yeah, for yeah, sure. He has the better cast, but I don't know. I just like the story of Breaking Bad, and Walt is the reason he drives the story of Breaking Bad. Yeah, he he drives the story, but there was a lot of times when I was watching Breaking Bad where I'm like, Walt's just getting on my nerves. He's like, it's just annoying. It's irritating. Whereas like Saul, it's like I actually cared every step of the way. I mean, just yeah, seen- I feel like there's so many episodes as well in Breaking Bad. I'm just like, this is just a, like a lot of season one is all like. Do I care about season one? Not really. Like season one. I don't one even is, care about like was it season six, the last season? Is it season six? Or I, I wouldn't say that. But like season really one, it's just like it. nothing's really going. Like obviously it's the setup, right? But I think yeah, as a one. setup, season one of Better Call Saul is just way better as a setup than it. It does it. And you could argue better. that it was established though. Already. Well, yeah, you could also. I mean, not really. Uh, not really though. You you the only argument I can see for that is that Vince just got better as a writer, which is true. True. Yeah. Well, I'll say like because like you already have like the universe is established. You don't have to start. But the he he wrote Better Call Saul in, in the attempt that you didn't know you were getting into. Oh, I didn't know that. Like the first episode at least. I didn't know that. I don't know. Like, I know he wrote the series. Like, yeah, it's a it's a prequel, but you're supposed to watch Break, Breaking Bad. Yeah. But like, I think the intent of the first episode is to hook. Which it's a pilot episode. Which, which makes sense, yeah. Because it did hook you. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. I just found myself while watching these two shows, like while watching Breaking Bad, I never want to put it down. I wanted to watch every episode. I just wanted to grind out. Season one. Maybe I don't know. I'm sure, like, because he said that like during season one. Mm, because nothing really happens in season one. Because, yeah, he has the crazy aid. He kills people. But, like, I was hooked. I don't know. Like, I never... I don't think there was a time in Breaking Bad where I wasn't ever, like, truly hooked. And then for Better Call Saul, like, while it is a really good show and I really do enjoy it, I just think better... Like, Breaking Bad edges it out just a tad bit for certain reasons. Like, I just love the plot and story of Breaking Bad. I, like, I don't... I don't... I don't necessarily disagree with you. Like, it's... It's a toss up, really. Like, you're talking about like two goats. Yeah, two right? goats. Like, They're so good. You're just going to be nitpicking to say which one is better. Just yeah. Personally, I would prefer Better Call Saul. And what I was what I was going at is that most of the Breaking Bad fandom uh, thinks Better Call, Call Saul is better. better than Breaking Bad. But you can see. But if you're outside of the fan, that's what it's the thing they say in the fandom where it's like the way you differentiate a Breaking Bad fan versus just a casual fan is if, if they prefer Better Call Saul or not. Because mm. they say what they say, not saying I agree with it, but if, if you prefer Better Call Saul, you're a Breaking Bad fan, like the franchise. Mm. Right. But if you just prefer Breaking Bad, you're just a fan of TV shows. TV so, shows? Yeah, media. Makes sense. Yeah. Not to say no. you're on a fan of Breaking Bad. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, just saying. Like, I'm not saying they're right, but that's what they say. It's it's a moniker. Yeah, and it, it it typically ends up being true about like seventy percent of the time, which is what gives them the reason yeah, to be like, the, yeah, it's, it's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's confirmation bias. Yeah, in a sense, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Beast says yeah. Squid Game's mid. Squid Game has always been mid. See, it's oh no, I'm not, I'm not saying it's never. I'm not saying it's not. I'm like, what are you? Even though I know what happened, well, like I told my dad, I haven't watched it. I know all the games. I know what, like, obviously I know, like, the ending. Not, like, the ending ending, but I know, like, who wins in the end. How do you know all this again? Like, I... Because no one, like, uh, especially artists back then when she was in Discord a lot, she would just, like, come in and just, like, talk about it with Eduardo, and I'm just like, all right, I guess I'll see myself out then. Mm. Like, it would just be, like, I, like, I'm doing something else, and I'm not paying attention, and all of a sudden she's like, yeah, and this guy died, and this guy I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> so I know, I've been also, like, playing all the games, like, the, the Roblox uh, Squid Game, and, like, <laughs> stuff like that see yeah like, we seeing, did like the shit. video of like the gerbil the, oh the gerbil squid game yeah. um there was a uh, a hamster like a guy on youtube it was either hamsters or gerbils and they were hamsters. He, he put them through squid games basically we're not actually how, killing them no, like, how did they get them. the cookie part well no no no. like they did like the oh uh, they yeah did the, they did the uh they did like the glass thing where they walk on the glass right um, how many how many hamsters is it Mm. Like this, 10, like ten hundred, right? Like ten or twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like ten. He didn't actually do the like, squid. He like, <coughs> did him through like 
obstacle courses that were akin to squeeze. Yeah, because like you couldn't really get them to do like tug of war. Yeah. So it's just, it, I mean, there's a lot did, of things they couldn't get them to do. They, like they, the cookie giving. They did it akin. I think I think he might have done like there was a rope and they had to pull the rope to get the snack or something like mm. it was things like that, right? Um, but I knew a lot about Squid Games, but I don't know the, the specifics. And I remember people talking about like, the cop, <laughs> and the cop is the only interesting storyline, in my opinion. Um, I think you're completely right. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I don't think anyone would like, disagree with yeah, you. Yeah, like, like, I was talking to my dad, and he's like, well, I mean, the games are fun. I'm like, they're okay. They're boring, though. Like, you already know pretty much who's going to win. There's like a main set cast, and they're probably not going to deviate from it. Uh, I guess I mean you can argue it from any show though, really. Well, that's, not, that's what I'm saying though. It's like so the games aren't the driving force of the show. It's just the cop in the background and like maybe like <clears throat> the guy behind the mask. Like, yeah. Who is he? I mean, you're also saying this in hindsight. Like when you're first watching this show, like it's a show you never like. The new this show everyone's first. watching. It's a Korean show. Like I mean, anything is, could really happen at that point. And like yeah, you could say like, yeah, the main character is probably just gonna win or live. But like, like you already you came into this like already knowing everything that's happened. I, I guess I could. I but, also kind of see what you're saying, Devin, because there actually there is a um, there is a word for it where it's like um, unless like basically unless it deviates from what you think, you're just gonna assume you are always right the whole time. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, yeah, I yeah, know exactly. the main cast isn't gonna die, and then they don't die. You're like, yeah, see, I already knew it. But if they did, then, then it would be, yeah, be shocked, so, yeah. It's, it's it's what he's saying. A hindsight. With yeah. hindsight, you With can hindsight, say you were yeah. right, but you could have been wrong. Like, yeah, there is like a like there probably could have been different if I knew nothing about it. But it's like, I, I don't I don't care about like. Sungu, whatever his name is, I don't, I don't care about him. I only care about the cop. That's the only thing I really actually care about. Cause it's, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck's happening? Like, cause he's, he's doing all the behind the scenes stuff, which is awesome. I love seeing that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, Squid Game itself is mid, mid yeah. But like, as most mainstream yeah. shows like that yeah. are gonna be, it's just they're good it's, enough to get to the yeah. general appeal. Like, mm. it's there. Like, it just gets that general appeal. Like, it's not formulaic, formulaic, but it feels formulaic. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I guess. Which is, like, which is why I said I ain't watching season two. I'm not gonna be a I'm not gonna be a prisoner of the mainstream media and watch Squid Game season two. <laughs> I won't do it. I just like to consume. I'm like I'll see what y'all are doing. Just like to consume media. Didn't you only watch season one because it was popular though? I mean, I guess. Uh probably. Yeah, people say they liked it. I want to see what it's about. I also I'm a huge fan of Killing Games. I heard it's a Killing Game. And then I were like, this really is the killing game. Are I'm you in. a fan of killing game or are you uh, just a fan of Dog Rampa? No, there's been plenty of like indie films, killing games I've watched. Um, like the name circle? three. Besides the circle, name I don't, three. I can't. They're all, they're all, they're all, <laughs> no, no, only because they're all like Japanese based. There's like, there's one. Um, Japanese do love killing games. They, they, they love, love their games. killing games. They're all Japanese Yo, and they're all. Alice in Borderland? Ooh. Fuck, I can't even remember the name. I can remember like visuals. I can't remember the names. So uh, yeah, I can't name you I any. Mean, they're, they're all Japanese based. I would agree. I would just basically say you're probably right because you said they're Japanese. I would have to agree. You probably have seen a bunch of them because Japanese yeah. love killing games. But yeah, I've also seen like the like, like their favorite thing. I've also seen like the bad films like yeah, The Circle. Um, I thought you liked The Circle. I like. At the time when you watched it, you said I remember you said you liked. I it. yes, okay. That, I enjoy like, The Circle. Looking back yeah. on it, you don't like it anymore. No, it's just like I don't love the film by any means, but I like some of the conversations that happened. I like some of like, the things that happened in it, basically. Like, I like how the guy wins. Like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you deserve it. You you played them all. GG. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I love I love my killing games. I like I just like seeing people put in situations and seeing how they get out of it. Yeah. Cause I remember I remember talking about the, uh, not me, but like you and Eduardo had talked about The Circle on the podcast before, like way back in the day. Oh, that's probably. The I, that's the reason I know the plot. Like, not the plot, but I know like the whole this situation with like the pregnant lady and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it was it a water? Was I cuz I got think I think I talked to you about it. I don't remember no, who I, I remember I talked to was it a water? The only yeah, person okay. I remember talking to about it is Eddie cuz every time I bring it up Eddie's like, "Oh yeah." And like this guy I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." Yeah. Yeah, I love I love killing games. I love like escape room like esque movies like or like games that are like movies that make you think. Yes, I love yeah, Saw. I love all Saws. There's one movie I forget what it's, it's like the maze or something like that. There's um uh, it is like five people and they have like they all have unique items on them. Uh, and they're like stuck in like a corn maze and they gotta figure out a way out but then it turns out like they're not the only one. five it's either five or six but it's like there's groups of six and they're all like not identical but they have the same items so, like there's like a lighter there's a compass there's a, a canister like a water canister and they all have something unique uh but it's like there's different pockets of groups and it's like se separated on like a grid and they have to like figure out their way out like but I agree. I love yeah. puzzle and uh, killing games, stuff like that. Yeah. And I think my dad loves them too, because apparently my dad heard nothing about Squid Games. 
He didn't know anything. He knew the name. That was it. <laughs> I mean, I, like, he knew I, every nothing about it. Every time, like, I hear stuff like that, because it happens to me with my dad, too, I'm just like, how can this be possible? And I gotta remember, these are the older, older people, people are on the yeah. internet, like, as much as we exactly. are. Exactly. Yeah. Because I was like, I was like, let's watch Squid Games. And he's like, because uh, I've, I've, I've low-key put my dad on, like, Japanese and... Uh, like, Alice in Borderland? Uh, like, Alice, like, Japanese, yeah, I also remember, like, Japanese and Korean shows, especially. Uh, and I was like, it's a Korean show. Uh, it's kind of like Alice in Borderland. He's like, I'm sold. You got me. <laughs> That's <laughs> so all I'm you like, did. I'm like, all right. Let's all right. <laughs> I wish it was that easy to stop my dad on the show. He'd be like, how so? <laughs> is, it, is it animated? <laughs> no, I don't think I will. Yeah. Have you gotten your dad watching anything animated yet? Nope. Neither have I. <laughs> he, he will watch it. He said he will watch Attack on Titan when it ends. Okay, no, I'm I trying, mean, but my dad's like, "But well, why would we watch that if we already have this show we could watch?" I'm like, "We haven't started either of them, so we could watch either of them right now." I thought you have got your dad to watch something in it. I thought you was, I thought, like Invincible. Oh, did you watch? Um, um, I thought. You, oh, you were going. You said you're going to when we can watch on One Punch Man. Yeah, I tried, but, but they, it was on Netflix. It was, it, they didn't oh, have, they yeah, didn't have the dub yeah, on yeah. Netflix. Yeah. But it's on Hulu, so I can get it and watch it on Hulu probably. Uh, that's probably gonna be the next thing we watch after Squid Game. One Punch Man, more than likely, because there's other shows that I do want to watch. Because I watch a lot of live, all the live action shows I watch are usually with my dad. So um, there's a bunch of shows that I do want to watch for live action, like Game of Thrones, for example. But it's such a long series, and he's like, I don't want to commit to a long series. I thought the same thing, but actually looking into Game of Thrones, is actually not as long as you think it is, because all the seasons are pretty like eight episodes. Well, not all of them, but like a lot. Yeah, of them, but like, it, eight it's just like it's like the uh, for someone that doesn't consume a lot of like my dad doesn't really consume a lot of media. It's like an hour long episodes feels like you're locked into a commitment. Where it's like us, people like us, where we grew up with it and we're kind of used to it. It's like, yeah, it's an hour long, but it's long, but you know, it is what it is. It's an episode. I wouldn't say I grew up with it. I didn't grow up with hour long shows. No, but I mean, like, like we're more accustomed to it now. Like, like a lot of, I try to explain. Like, mm. for him, like, a show is 20, or 20, 20 to 30 minutes. And if it's longer than that, it's a long show. So I'm it's st- like. I still think that as well. Yeah. I would still agree. Yeah, I would agree too. I'm like, bro, this, this show is an hour yeah. long. Like, what the fuck? That's a long show. Yeah, like to me, a regular show is 20 to 3. I would we, agree. With I would agree that we're more accustomed to it because we have shows like The Boys. We have, I like, we have all these shows now. Their day, they're coming out hour long and short. I, I know other people I've talked to about this like similar thing, and they agree that like we're more accustomed to like hour long shows. It's not it doesn't seem as, as much of like a commitment or a burden. I think it's probably just because like we've had more mainstream and popular shows yeah. that have become long. Because like there's always been shows long, like like the lot. Like, no, for Lost, sure. I'm yeah, pretty sure yeah. is an hour long show as well. But it's just there hasn't been that many. Mm. Whereas now there is more. Like you said, the boys. The boys. Is like game. Trans- yeah, game, like, yeah. Yeah, and um, all, basically all the like Netflix originals, like you, right? Like mm. yeah, stuff you like, stuff like that. It's just they're popular. I think is probably what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas back then they didn't. They had those shows, but they weren't popular. Mm. The popular shows were the shorter the regular size one yeah yeah but i was just saying like he, he views that as like a long commitment he didn't want to get into i mean it is i would yeah. agree yeah. yeah like that's the same reason why i don't want to watch like that's why i'm do basically what devin is is the same way i'm like i only want to watch the best of the best i'm not gonna sit down and watch some random show because <laughs> yes, i'm wasting at that point like it's like if it's eight even if it's eight episodes that's eight hours of my life i wasted on a show that's ass see i love consuming media so it, it literally does not bother me Nah, like I, like, I guess nah, I'm like I could spend those eight hours watching a show I know is gonna be good, mm. or like is at least viewed as good. Like Game, like of I Thrones. wouldn't watch like a, if I knew the show was gonna be bad or like a, 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 the best mid, I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> but like, I, I I don't know, I don't know what it is. Like I, guess, like I do love binging. It just it just feels like minutes to me, and minutes I can move around in my head to make it make sense. It doesn't feel like unless I'm watching like every episode's like two hours long. I feel like that'd be a little too much. No, I respect my time too much. I can't. Yeah, I can never do that. Too. But I also do other things while I'm watching shows. Like I can do homework, or I can play chess, or I can play games while I'm watching the show. Yeah, I can't do. It's just engaged. about like it's just me. Like I, I think I just not to say you don't respect your time, but it's just like for me, I'm like my time is precious. I'm not gonna spend on something I don't know if it will be good. Like I don't like the mystery of things if it's a long show. Like I can take the mystery of like a 20 minute episode. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. It's a 20 minute mm. show. It's whatever. But it's an hour long. I gotta know it's good before I'm gonna watch it. I, I guess I can see what you mean. Cause like for me, like if I'm doing something else while I'm watching it, I'm already doing that other thing. I might as well do something else. Cause it's either like, yeah. I watch this show well or I watch something. I watch, I some, be yeah, something. I watch some random, but it's like if I'm doing something else that like it has most of my attention and I'm kind of watching this show, I don't care if it's like mid or good or whatever. Cause it's, it's just there in the background. Why would you not want to have a good thing in the background? Would you, would you, like, why, why would you? No, I, I prefer a good thing, obviously. I'm <laughs> yeah, just saying, like, yeah, that's, that's the point, I'm just saying it, is, like, it doesn't bother me. Like, yeah, it's an hour-long show. There's you know 12 episodes, and it's mid. But 
I'm already playing Overwatch. I'll just watch it on the second monitor. Uh, you watch you watch the shows? peripheral with your dad. The peripheral? The peripheral? Yeah, it's a, a, oh, you don't have a Prime, do you? Yeah, we have. Oh yeah, you should watch the peripheral. That's a. It's only eight episodes, but. <clears throat> They're all like hour 20, so I don't know if your dad will get into it. But what yeah. is it about? And also, the writer's block might make season two delayed because you know, not writer's block, uh, writer's strike that's happening. Which yeah, have you guys heard about? Yeah, we talked about it at the gym. Yeah, uh, Charlie also made a video about it. You've never heard about the writer's strike? Oh, well, no, I have to, what's going on right now? The writers of, are on strike of of shows and oh, just shows in general. Hollywood you said you said shows like a bunch of shows, yeah, yeah like Why? all of them. Why? Oh man, it's the same. I remember this happened in like 2007. Uh, it's probably the same union reason where they, they don't feel yes. like they're getting enough credit yeah. or money or something. I haven't looked into it. Like you said, Charlie made a video, but I can watch the video and probably get he more. He did a pretty good analysis. Did he it. just drop a video? Like when did this video come out? Two weeks ago? Or week Two ago? weeks ago? The strategy's been, been going on for a yeah. while now. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Which that's why, why like all the a lot of people are worried about the stuff that's going to be coming out soon. It's yeah. like, well, the writer strike's going to. Could have because that's what they were saying back in like 2000. I could be wrong, but I think 2007 sounds about right when the first writer strike happened. Around that time when the strike happened, all the stuff that came out after the strike was horrible. Mm. So, if you're saying that we worry that's what's going to happen again because Moody Studios are going to be like, we still got to push it out, we can't, we, we can't, can't stop because the writers are leaving us. Is this like writers are like animated and non animated because that's invincible supposed to be coming out in the next it's couple months. Done, though. Okay. It's already done, but yeah, it's the same right. thing though. But also Invincible, they're adapting the, the comics, so it's like they're they're doing fresh oh, yeah. material. Adapting. Well, but, I don't know. How, I don't know how close they have They have they have they have a rough draft of what they can do if mm -hmm. they want to follow that story. So even if the writers do go away, okay, let's just animate within the comics then. Yeah. You know. Well, you can say the same with Marvel, but I don't trust Marvel. With with their, if their writers, <laughs> I, I don't do not trust Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> I'm just saying like, they're gonna put out some ass. Because <laughs> right now with writers, they've been putting out some ass. Imagine with no writers. Ooh. But what, what if what, what if that writers they're better because the writers the one that's making it ass. Mm. I'll be yeah, like, damn, fire the writers. Yeah, everybody, everybody, get out. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, like, I highly doubt. Like, funny, they like, start, they, they, start, start, they start, start quantum mania. They start cooking. Like, they're like, they're they start getting the fans like, oh, y'all don't want to write. Well, we have a whole community that want to write for us. Like, all right, fans come in. They do like fan submissions. Yeah. Oh, be like a bunch of cameos and all of them. It's like, oh my god, Seinfeld intro. Like, hey, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, what is this? This is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, I was saying, yeah, you should you should watch the peripheral though. The only issue is with the writer strike. I don't know when season two is supposed to be coming out though. I mean, that's better though because he doesn't want to get locked into a long show. So yeah. it'd be better if it was a shorter show. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I, I really got him on Koreans and like the Asian Asian market. You got him hooked. Got him hooked, man. Like Rose Loki Feenan. He's like, we finish the show. He's immediately like, we got an hour. What's the next <coughs> show? Yeah, I'm I find like, it. All right, let's see. I find it funny. Like y'all, y'all are constantly trying to get your dads to, like watch something. My dad's trying to get me to watch something. Like, my dad's like, have you seen this anime? And I look at it. It looks hard garbage. It's 3D. I'm like, I'm not watching what is this. It? Shit. I don't. I don't know. Ruby? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's Ruby. It's some 3D Dude, garbage. Someone tries to get me to watch Ruby. I'm like, you never talk to me again. <laughs> like, you it's are, hot garbage. You are done. <laughs> you are <laughs> finished. No, nah, like not everything he recommends is bad. But like he was trying to recommend me something because he like he knows I like anime and shit. And like he's also a nerd, so he watches stuff too. I'm like, no, I'm good. Like uh, he tried to get me to watch Vox Machina. Have y'all heard of Vox Machina? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I've heard it's pretty good. I heard it's pretty good. But I'm like, no, I'm good. I want to watch it right now. If I <laughs> ever do want to get into it, maybe I will. But because yeah. I watch a little bit of it, I'm like, it, it seems okay in my opinion. Not mm. something maybe yeah, I'll I get think it's into. Like, it's like a filler show. It's like yeah. I can watch this, but I don't think it's going to be great or anything. But he loves it. He's like, come on, Nevin. I'm like, no, I'm not watching Box Rocket. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Well, my dad does recommend me shows, but I just have no faith in his taste, so I just deny it. Deny it. He's like, watch this show, and I look it up on IMDb, and it's like five, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not watching it. It's like, it's like a two point seven. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, dad, I'm like, dad, this show's probably ass. I'm not, I'm not watching it. Once you get past season five, it's good. It's like. Uh, well, he doesn't watch shows. He watches movies. He has movie but movies. the movies he watches are always like he does watch good movies. Yes, but the show, the movies he recommends are always ass, like on rating wise. So I'm like, am I gonna waste two hours of my life watching this movie? Who has a three on IMDb? <laughs> no, I'm not watching that. I think Look. I'd rather go watch The Godfather. The Godfather, or yeah. Yeah, like that's the only. I guess that's the difference. Is he just because he doesn't watch shows? He only, he only watches movies. movies. He doesn't like shows because they never end, basically. Which it's not entirely it's true, but for the most part, like I can see his point. I, I see his sentiment. End. Yeah, he likes having a conclusion to like the story arc. So mm. so so he doesn't like watching shows and then be like, mm, now I'm great. Now I gotta wait for season two. Type right, thing. right. Or which like, is valid. Oh, or I gotta watch nine seasons of a show for it to end. Like something like that. He doesn't like to do. 
the only shows he watches are like the main main mainstream shows or whatever like the shows i know he's seen is the office but that's because he watched it since it came kid. out um since a kid <laughs> oh, no. it's a kid i said kid like that's not true <laughs> 2005 um, parks and rec and community like shows like that he just watched because that's back when cable tv he just watched him but he probably hasn't seen them in totality yeah like in the streaming era shows i know he's seen is invincible because it was popular and i told him you should watch invincible and, and my brother was also <clears> to <throat> watch it squid game it was just insanely popular you watched it and the boys superhero show popular popular yeah that's yeah. good enough he likes superheroes he, he's not into superheroes so. well that's how i got my dad to watch uh invincibles because we watched the boys together and i was like well mm -hmm. you want another gritty superhero show here's invincible and that's what me and my brother said about invincible we're like it's basically the boys but animated but it's like, <laughs> the boys but yeah. animated but different characters and it kind of is it kind of been like uh, it's not a wonder uh, one, but it's like, i guess it's, yeah it gives you the same vibe i also gotta watch yeah, if you watch the boys and you go and to watch invincible, invincible like, yeah okay, the vibe yeah. is there like it's not like it's a vibe change that's also like i got him to watch cyberpunk too, like edge runners because i was oh, like yeah. it's kind of like invincible. Oh, so you did get him watch it yeah okay yeah but what are you yeah, doing? Okay. What yeah, it, it won the anime of the year. <laughs> that is an anime. <laughs> it's it the yeah, but yeah, I, I guess. guess. The yeah, but. It doesn't feel like an anime to me. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> I get it. I get it. How does it not feel like it, an it anime? Just feels what like a, about it? Just feels, I don't know. It's just like a cartoon. <laughs> All animes are cartoons. True. I get it. Like, I, get, I get. I don't have legs to stand on. It's just a feeling. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a rationale behind it. It just is. Okay, Did you so make the same take at WeebCon? I feel like you said the same shit at WeebCon. To what, like, about Edge Runners? Yeah, about Edge Runners being like. No, actually, never mind. Never no, mind. they were talking about Edge Runners and he said it's ass. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I remember, like, I remember we talked about ass. Edge Runners. Like, Whoa. He's like, it's too predictable. And that's why you and I talk about like, like they, want, they literally want it to be like complete randomness. They want it to be like, all right, this episode, like minutes one through four, this happens, but then five through yeah, six. Yeah, that nigga said, I could guess everything that, ha everything that happened in Edge Runners. I'm like, what? No, you <laughs> he, said that. he said, I was like, like you guessed the Rebecca death. You guessed the. Like, you, you know, shot. Dude, you a, lot, guessed a lot of that. people love to use the hindsight argument because it's like, they can't prove me wrong. So I'm just going to say, I predicted everything. Thing, and exactly. they can't prove me wrong because I've already seen the show. I exactly. Like, Damn, bro. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I was like, I was like, no shot. You predicted everything that happened in Edge Runners. That's cap. Like, he's like, it's just too predictable, too formulaic. <laughs> That's why I love formulaic. watching shows with people who I know love to lie about stuff like that all the time. It's like I predicted the ending. I'm like, all right, let's watch a show together. Let's see this. <laughs> You're so prediction guy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And then I like, catch him, I'm like, oh, you thought that was going to happen? Didn't happen. I'm like, yeah, oh, but yeah. this is also predictable. But you didn't predict it, though. So is it predictable? <laughs> you didn't predict it. It's predictable given the information I have now. It's like, yeah. oh, so <laughs> so is it once you have all the information of the show, it's predictable yeah. the ending. Once you've seen the ending, you're like, yeah, I know what happens in the end. Yeah, I think it's that's easy. everyone. <laughs> like, you see light about to die, you're like, yeah, light dies. Yeah. Easy, easy read. <laughs> it's like it's like I remember I remember like a long time ago, a long time ago back in the Fortnite days. Devin used to like claim he had this power that like no one else had. He's like, dude, I can I can think of the best comebacks, but like days after it happens, and you know what? Like so, what everyone else can do? Oh he's like, nah. yeah. He's like, he's like, nah, bro, mine are crazy though. I was like, yeah, that's what everyone can do. It's the same thing. It's like you're yeah. saying something anyone could do. Yeah, I can break the ending of a show after I've seen the ending. Exactly. I like both know everyone else argues in the shower like I did. I didn't know people did that. I, I I've I never heard anyone say that. So I thought, since from my dude, point was, of view, to I was, me and Eduardo, it was the hilarious thing ever because you were like, you were like, dude, I have this crazy power where I can like come out to come back like a month later. We're like, what? <laughs> everyone does that. My it's comeback game is like a crazy. running meme that everyone comes up. Yeah, with. Yeah, I didn't know like, that. I didn't know. I wasn't in the know things. I was like, yeah, my comeback be crazy. I'm him. Let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> Give me a month. It's over. It's over. No, no, the way you said it reminded me of like when Wardo was like, yeah, remember when you were kids and you used like, use all the shampoo, conditioner, and soap to make potions? And Wardo's like, we're all like, what? Are <laughs> you drinking them? <laughs> that explains why. He said no. He said no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you do with potions? You drink them. Yeah, you drink them. You drink them. <laughs> he's, like, like, he's like, yeah, you get the bottle, you like pour all the stuff in the, the cup of the what, bottle. You look at it? Like, you're like oh, you pretty color. You around with your finger. I'm like, what do you... <laughs> mm. He was so confident because uh, something similar like this happened where we all did something and he was like, yeah, remember when we made potions? He was literally the guy who was like, remember when we used to stick our finger in our butts? And we were like, kids? what? <laughs> we, we, we used to stick our butts and then... Rub it underneath our nose. Slap. Like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what? Remember you used to finger the dog's butthole? <laughs> what? It's like a Theo Vaughn statement. Yeah. Hey, if you guys have any moments where someone's told you remember when, and it's been something that no one's ever done before, let us know in the comments. For sure. True. Yeah, I've had fun in this episode. I think we talked about some interesting stuff. We talked Absolutely. about anime. We talked a lot about of media talk. TV shows, yeah.
Yeah. Least. We don't usually talk about. We haven't talked about shows in a minute, honestly. Since I think like the show, talked about shows probably Squid Game. Well, like, yeah. yeah. Aside from that one. Yeah. Squid Game might have been the last one. That was like season one, so. True. Or the boys. I think we talked about the boys. Yeah. 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 After. The boys. Boy. Season three is that what just came out? Maybe it after AX though. Cool. Yeah, season three is the, the latest season. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed, you know, do all the stuff that you want to do. Keep it short and sweet. We'll see you guys next time.